Welcome to the IEC content studio here at IEC 2023 in Barcelona. Our topic today is e-gaming. We have two very special guests, Jessica Golding, Marketing Director Europe of Upson, and uh, Sam Gordon, Director Big Purple Productions. Pink and purple, fantastic. <laughs> um, Sam, tell us a little bit about this fast-growing market of e-gaming. So eSports has been around for a very long time and it has been really, really big. It's just, I think now, especially after COVID, it's now on everyone's radar a lot more and it's only going to get bigger. Uh, you're getting millions and millions of people just logging on to watch it online. Some eSports events have more viewers than the World Cup final, for example, it, it, and it will only get bigger. There's big money involved, right? There's very big money involved, especially for the players. You know, that you've got you've got kids who are 17, 18, who are are making millions just because they're good at, at gaming. Wow, wow. Um, Jessica, but eGames e is not only about playing at home by yourself, but it's really having a big audience and everything. So, so what what role does LED have? Oh, well, we've been talking to Sam and some of the, like Dota 2, that's in Singapore, that's been huge for us and the one in Turkey. So they fill arenas um, and a lot of these places are starting to look at fixed installations. So not just the live events for the wow. end goal of it. They're looking at building specific venues to host these. Um, and we've been introduced to some people who've got gaming facilities actually for the teams um, so there's so much opportunity for LED within it fixed and for the rental market and, and Sam um, what kind of content do you show on the LED is it just you know screen of, 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 of the game or is it stats or so or how it, it's everything it's it's a, it's if you imagine it like a football game if you if you've got a big screen you want to see what's happening on the pitch you want to see sometimes the manager's reaction sometimes you want to see the stats and that is everything we show on the led screen now because it's for there'll be a lot of pro gamers that watch it we use led wall for the refresh rate because for a game and monitor you need 144 refresh rate and then for obviously led wall especially with absin and using brompton technology we can we can reach that I learned that the ping is very important. <laughs> the ping is, yes. <laughs> that all that matters. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, what kind of LED, what exactly what kind of LED is necessary? I mean, um, that's fixed insulation or, or uh, um, the other one is, doesn't matter. But it's really, um, you know, is it special pixel pitch? Is it, uh, is it does it need special uh, special electronics behind it? Or so, what kind of what kind of products do you use there? So the main thing is about the refresh rate, and that's why we work with Brompton because they can achieve that higher refresh rate. Um, but I guess it can go from anything, can't it? If it's a fixed install, it's probably looking at a 1.2 pixel pitch. And then you, if you're looking at a live event, what, you, what do you guys uh, use? Mainly 2.5. Yeah, so 2.5. So because of how far the audience yeah, are sure. away from the yeah. stage. Okay, and um, how many square meters are we talking about in a large venue? Hundreds? You, you, you could talk hundreds. You, it, it all depends on, on the game and on the competition. Uh, there is some esports that are in a studio like this. Uh, not so much a spaceship, but well, you know, a small one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, where we'll just there'll be no audience, but there'll still be s some LED featured so that the uh, audience at home can still ha have that experience. And um, but then when it's the arenas, then you're talking hundreds of square meters. It's fascinating, fascinating. So, um, what, what's, in, what's in store for, for e-game in the, the future? Is it will it be more esports? Will it be more bigger, larger, more yeah. engaging? It, or? it will definitely get bigger. Uh, universities are now doing degree courses within esports. Uh, there are a lot of universities, especially in England, that are creating esports arenas within the universities. They are then going to host their own events. They're going to have their own teams. They're going to compete, and that will only grow and grow. And we also created a company called Discovery Sports in the UK, where we're trying to get brands introduced into esports. So brands that might be scared and don't want to ask the questions to all the big teams, we're trying to get their foot in the door to to see how they could either sponsor a team, get involved in in esports, and in what way. So we think it's it's only going to get bigger. And what's really interesting, we're in a virtual studio, but this is running on Unreal, which is a gaming yeah. engine. Exactly. So this is almost like 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 esports. Huh? That's, yeah. that's, uh, <laughs> so, but you also brought a small thing here to ISC. Could you talk a little bit about this? Yeah, so we were talking with you guys, uh, with ISC about what we're bringing to the content production zone. Um, and we've done a lot of virtual production. We do virtual production on our normal stand. So we decided actually to do something with esports um, because it's such a fast growing market that w we thought we must bring something here. And people have talked about esports in terms of simulation before, but nothing 
at ISC, we've never seen a gaming setup. So we decided to do something a little bit different. And it's worked. It's been really busy. Um, we've had people queuing to play the games. Um, so it's been great. Yeah, really good. Yeah, we are located right next to it. Now. Yeah. I saw it in a couple of days. Uh, always a huge crowd of people yeah. who have gaming. <laughs> Really, really cool. So, thanks for the insights about, about esports and, and LED. It's fascinating. And uh, so, um, Jessica Golding and Sam Gordon, thanks for being our guest today. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.